Okay, now we're doing lesson 6.8, multiply two two-digit numbers. We've done the math warm-up. We're on page 131 now. It says for each diagram, write a multiplication expression that the diagram can represent. Then find the value of the expression. Use equations to show or explain your reasoning. So on that first one, on diagram A, what math problem are they trying to solve? So if you see, if they made this diagram, what is the diagram trying to solve? Tell me, what diagram is that trying to solve? Six. So what number do you think the top should be? Uh, 18. 18. And, and what are they multiplying 18 times? Six. Six. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So they built this diagram to multiply 6 times 18. Okay? What did they, what's the second diagram for? Um, Hema, what are they trying to multiply for this diagram? Yes. Nice job. 10 times 18. Write that out to the side. And then, what about the third diagram? Corbin? <coughs> Multiply. Yes. Nice job, Corbin. 16 times 18. So if you look at that, guys, watch. What's 10 plus 6? 16. What's 10 plus 8? 18. Look up here. We had 6 times 18, and then 10 times 18, and then we stacked them up and made 10 plus 6 into 16 plus 18. So it's like a double-decker. They're stacking the two models on top of each other. It's going to be the same way. Every time you see a box, you look to the left of that box and then on top. Okay? So let's start up top. You guys tell me, what do you multiply together for the first box, everybody? Six times ten. Yes. Six times ten. And what do you multiply to get the second box? Six times eight. Six times eight. So six times ten is sixty. Six times eight is forty-eight. If we stack those up, we're going to get one hundred eight. Okay? For the next box, what are we going to multiply for the first box? 10 times 10, 10, times 10 which of course equals 100. 100. What are we going to multiply for the second box? 10 times 10, 10 times 10, which equals 80. 80. And our last step, stack them and add them. So we will get 180. Okay? Now let's go and do this one. I'm going to um, call on you guys for these. Um, what do you multiply together for the first box? Gentry? I noticed that A, B, and C on all have two big numbers. Okay, yeah. What do you multiply for the first box, Gentry? For the first box, it's 10 times 10, which equals 100. There you go. 10 times 10, which is 100. Okay, Chevy, what do you multiply together for the second box? Look at this box. What am I pointing to? What's to the left of it? And on top? So what would you multiply? Yes. Okay, so remember, Chevy, you've got to be real careful to make sure that when you look to the left, you're looking to the left of the box you're actually on. Okay, because this is where it can get tricky because now there's two numbers on the left, correct? Um, so you got to make sure when you're on the top row that you're looking at the top number, okay? 
just like on a multiplication table, if you're trying to figure out what two numbers multiply together to get this box that I'm covering, you're going to look to the left and get a 4, and on top and get a 4 for your 16. Okay? So, put you in on that. Okay. What do you multiply together for, oh, and 10 times 8 is what? 80. 80. And then, Dexter, what two numbers do you multiply for this box? 10 times 6. I want you to say the number on the left first. Oh, 6 times 10. Yes, and what's that equal? 60. Okay, good. And then, Zeke, what about this box? 6 times 8. And what's 6 times 8? Yep. Okay, and our last step. Stack them and add them. So 180, 60, 48. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 8. And then I'm going to combine the 6 and 4 first because I know that makes 10. Plus 8 more, 18. Put down the 8, carry the 1. So 288. And look at that. You can add... The 6 plus 10 to get 16. And if you add 180 plus 108, you would get 288. So if you do something on this side of the equation, you have to do the same thing over here. So we added two of the numbers together. So add two of the answers together. Okay. Here are, how are the diagrams alike? How are they different? Well, the way that they are alike is that A and B combine to make C, right? But they were different because this is a single layer and a single layer, and this is a double-decker. Okay. Use a diagram to find each product. All right, here we go. We're going to start by making a diagram that how many sections will it have? How many sections will our square have? Chevy? Two. No. Emily? One. No. Caitlin? Um. Olivia? Four. Four. Four, because how many numbers can we split 13 into? Two. How many numbers can we split 21 into? Two. Two, two plus two? Four. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw a box. And it's going to have four sections. And first, we're going to split 13 into 10 and 3, and then we're going to split 21 into 20 and 1. It does not matter whether you put the 20 and the 1 on the side or the 10 and the 3 on the side, because you're going to get the same either way, same answer. It's going to be in a different, little bit different order, but your outcome is going to be the same. Okay, so what two numbers do we multiply for this box? Uh, Delena. Yes, 10 times 20. I want you to write the numbers in for these. Since we're expanding it. Derek, what two numbers do I multiply together for this box? Ten times one. Yes. Um, Ariana, what two numbers do I multiply for this box? Mm -hmm. Times. Yep. Yeah. What's to the left of it? Three. What's on top of it? Twenty. Right? When I say on top of it, I mean outside the lines, right? You see what I mean there? Yeah. Okay. 
And then what two numbers do we multiply together for this box? Jada? Three times eleven. That's correct. Good work. Okay, now that we have all of our problems, we can quickly solve them with our basic facts. One times two is two. Add on two zeros. One times one is one. Add on one zero. Three times two is six. Add on one zero. And three times one is three. Our last step, stack them and add them. 260, 10, and 3. Add them all together, and you will get 273. Okay. On the uh, next one, how many sections is our box going to have, Caitlin? Four. Four. Because we're going to have two for the 25 and two for the 46. So we need to draw another box that's about the same size. Okay. So we have on the left 20 and 5, on the top 40 and 6. First, we're going to do 20 times 40, then 20 times 6, then 5 times 40, then 5 times 6. You kind of hear the pattern in there? Listen to it again. 20 times 40, and 20 times 6, and 5 times 40, and 5 times 6. Hear it? Okay. Basic fact. 2 times 4 is 8 with 2 zeros. 2 times 6 is 12 with 1 zero. 5 times 4 is 20 with 1 zero. And 5 times 6 is 30. Last step. Stack them and them. Yep, 800. 200, 120, 120 then 30. And so a zero in the ones place, then a five, then eleven. So the answer is one thousand one hundred fifty. Okay. <coughs> Last page. Decompose by place value. <coughs> so here's the problem we're doing. Okay, let's go. Next page. You can come back if you didn't finish, but this is an important page. Um, so I want you guys, I want to talk about this. It says these diagrams could be used to find the value of 49 times 57. Now we're going to talk about, I hope you're not getting ahead of me. Don't do that, Jada. Okay, this is important that you hear this part. When we break apart 49, into 40 and 9, those two numbers add together to equal 49, right? And when we break apart 57 into 50 and 7, those two numbers add up to be 57. So, what does 37 plus 12 equal? Well, it also equals 49. And then they broke apart 57 as 50 and 7. <clears throat> I want you to take a look at these diagrams and see which one is going to be better to use. Okay? So this is what we've been doing. <clears throat> Does anybody know off the top of their head what 37 times 7 is? Right now, I need it quick. What is it? No, me neither. What about 37 times 5? You know what that is? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? Now, what about 4 times 5? 20. Okay, I'm just talking about basic facts right now. 
4 times 7, 28. Okay, our goal, since we're already breaking this down into a bunch of steps, is to make it into a model that is easy to work with. Okay? And this one, although if you solved it, it would get you the same answer this one would, is not the best choice. That's why breaking it into expanded form is so much better, okay? So it says, which diagram is more helpful when finding the value of 49 times 57? A. Diagram A is definitely more helpful, right? Mm -hmm. A, because it uses expanded form. With basic facts. that can be done mentally. Fast. That can be done mentally and fast, okay? Use a diagram to find each product. Okay, so we are going to Go ahead and we're going to use the diagram they gave us here to do 49 and 57 because they've already built it for us. So what is 4 times 5, everybody? 20. How many zeros do we add on? One. No, not 1. Okay, 4 times 5 is 20 and there's 2 zeros that need to be added on. Okay, make sure that you, um, take the dots help, okay? Um, and then on the next one we do 4 times 7, which is 28, and that one we just add 1 zero. And then 9 times 5, 45, add the zero, and then 9 times 7, so down here, we're going to combine 2,450, 280, then 63. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3, 3. 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 5 more would be 19. Put down the 9, carry the 1. 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and then 2 plus nothing is 2. So the answer would be 2,793. <clears throat> and the last problem, 29 times 55. How many sections does our box need? Four, Four sections. So we're going to start by... Writing 20 and 9. Actually, on this one, I'm going to do colors because um, I want to show you something. 20 and 9, and then I'm going to do blue for up top. 50 and 5. So, for... First, I'm going to do 20 and 20 and 9 and 9 at the beginning. And then I'm going to put in my multiplication sign. And then I'm going to go and do my subtract part. So 50 and 50, 5 and 5. Do you see how when we're done, we've got one of each color in both boxes? Yes. So we've got a left side color and a top color. A left side color and a top color. 
left side color and a top color, left side color and a top color. Okay, so basic fact, two times five equals ten, ten plus how many zeros? Two. two. Two times five again, ten, ten. plus how many zeros? One. One. Okay, let's not carry it out like that. Nine times five, forty-five. Add one zero, and nine times five, 45. 45. Last thing, stack, stack them in. 1,450. One hundred, then forty-five. One thousand five hundred ninety-five. Your practice page today is page one hundred forty-eight. Um, the one from yesterday was page one hundred forty-seven. And if you have not already finished page 118, make sure you've got that done as well. And we'll go through these shortly.